about that market day, Shannon Sakosha, Chief Investment Officer at Boston Private Wealth, and still with us, Josh Brown, CEO of Ritholtz Wealth Management. But first, we go to Mike Santoli. You know, Morgan, I think we've all been talking about the resilience of the market. I think you can appreciate the resilience and say uh, that clearly the market has kind of maintained its trend while also saying perhaps we didn't get enough in this little pullback and this little uh, mini scare over the Iran uh, conflict to really take the wind out of the sails of the over-optimism that we came into the year with. So I think we have to consider both those things. If I look at Apple going up a percent and a half, going over 300 bucks a share on nothing but the fact that we're not at war and Tesla going to 500 and Alphabet going above 1400. It does seem as if people are kind of still piling into the obvious stocks um, just as a grab. And I'm not saying that's a problem, but it means that maybe we're at risk of having a true melt up weeks after people were talking about a melt up that wasn't. Shannon, uh, do you think that the market has shown the sort of uh, impressive resilience to start the year? And what do you take away from that? Well, I think that there really hasn't been much of a change between the environment that we left in 2019 and what we see here in 2020. If you think about it in terms of, you know, an accommodative central bank and continuing improvement in economic data, that's not going to be upset by the issues that we're having in Iran right now. And I think that we're going to continue to see strength in those names that were winners for folks last year. Josh, what do you think of the session we just had here? I mean, huge reversal from a 400-point drop in the Dow futures overnight. Yeah, uh, for, I agree with everything Shannon said. Even though the calendar is turned over, people haven't changed their minds about how much they want to be invested, especially in U.S. large cap tech and growth names. Today's session's a wild one, and what I like to do on days like today, I looked, I like to look at the the style and factor ETFs to get a sense of where the real strength is beyond just you know Apple, Microsoft. So what's interesting today is you have this new all-time high. You also have a new record high in the momentum ETF. ETF, MTUM is how you can track it at home. And at the same time, new record high in quality. QUAL is, is the best way to look at that. So you've got high quality companies with strong balance sheets, good earnings, working really well. And then you've got this whole contingent of momentum stocks doing the same but exact with thing. With huge overlap, let's just say. Correct. Quality and defensive stocks no packed doubt. into the momentum. No easy. doubt. And so when you think about that, you say to yourself, well, what are investors long if not those names? Those those are the names. And so what's been working through 2020, uh, 2019 has continued into uh, 2020. I think Shannon nailed it.